guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Ala and I teach Levantine Arabic or anything related to Levantine Arabic language. Um, I'm so sorry, I've been really busy teaching and busy with all the teaching stuff, but finally I'm back again and I will um, do more videos for you. So um, all my information should be underneath the video. Uh, if you are interested in private lessons, let me know. If you are still interested in group lessons and you missed my previous video, um, it's not too late. You can send me an email. Doesn't matter your level. My email address is alaa.arabictutor at gmail.com. Again, it's alaa.arabictutor at gmail.com and all my information should be underneath the video. In today's video, I'm going to go over three words that lots of people who try to speak in Arabic, they make a mistake with. Um, these are three words that might be a little confusing, so I'm going to go over them and explain everything and why they might be a little confusing. So the three words are have, used, and do. Have, used, and do. So now I'm going to share the screen with you and show you examples and explain to you what's happening here. So let me share. Okay, here. So the first word is have. I wrote a couple of sentences for you, two sentences. The first one is I have to go. And the second sentence is, I have an iPhone. I think, I feel like if you read the sentences, you might understand what's happening. Now, um, it's like when you try to speak, you don't notice, but when you look at them now, um, you might see the difference and then you understand what's going on. If not, it's okay, I'm gonna go over them. So I have to go. And I have an iPhone. These are two different sentences, but they both use the word have. So I have to go basically means I should go or I want to go or I, or I need to go. The second sentence is I have an iPhone. Basically, it's like I own an iPhone. Now, in English, we use the same word, right? I have an iPhone. I have to go. In Arabic, you cannot use the same word for both sentences because have, the word have that you learn means and, which means own, like I own something. So this is why when we teach you the word and, or the word and, you know, you can use it in the second sentence. I have an iPhone, but you cannot use it in the first sentence i have to go again in english we use the same word in arabic it doesn't work the same way and basically means i own so it works on the second sentence does not work on the first sentence so that's um for the word have for example for i have to go in arabic you would say um lazim aruh um, something like this. So you would use I want or I should go. So you would use different words in Arabic to so it, they mean the same thing as I have to go. Now I have an iPhone. Basically, I own an iPhone. So that's Angi iPhone. So now you can use the word and the one you learned as have. So this is the first one. Now the second one is used. So the first sentence or the first example is, I used to go to the gym three times a week. The second sentence is, I use my point to buy a ticket. I used to go to the gym three times a week. And the second one, the second one is, I use my points to buy a ticket. So the first one I used to does not mean like you're using something it just means like a habit and you used to do it like you used to go like going to the gym three times a week it was like a habit you used to do it 
in the past. Now, the word use, we teach you, basically means using something in order to do something. This is the word use you learn when you learn Arabic. So, the word use that you learned, it works on the second sentence. I use my point to buy a ticket. Now, it's not going to work for the first sentence. I used to go to the gym three times a week because that's not you're using something. You're basically like you're talking about a habit you used to do. You see, like there is a difference, right? Used in both sentences um, does not mean the same thing. So the word we use, we, we teach you means استعمل, which is a second sentence. So for the sec for the first sentence, basically I would say, كنت أروح على الجيم ثلاث مرات بالأسبوع. So if you want to translate Arabic to English, it's gonna sound very weird. كنت I was أروح go على الجيم. This basically means to the gym, but على is on. But we always use ala after a ruh. That's another thing not related to our lesson for today. Tell us more as three times a week. So you see, we we translated the sentence in a completely different way, or not completely, but uh, a different way than how you say it in English. So this is how we would say it in Arabic. So just be aware that which, like if you're using a word, different situations but does not mean the same thing make sure you understand which one did you learn and understand the meaning of the sentence so you know which words you should use right and also the first sentence i used to it used here always come with two i used to right i used to it always come i i underlined used to because they always come together when it means like a habit so this is for the word use now the last one is do i do this every morning i don't like to wake up too early so now if you notice the word do does not mean the same thing in both sentences I do this now for the word do, you'll learn that do means um, I made. Um, like doing something, let me, like doing something, right? So I do this every morning. So, ana bamal hek or had kul subah, every morning I do this. So do here means amal, like doing, you're actually doing something. Now, I don't like to wake up too early. The reason do here is just to make the sentence negative. Like if you don't want to make it negative, you would just say, I like to wake up too early. Now to make it negative, you say, I don't like to wake up too early. So in the second sentence, do does not really mean like you're, you do something, right? is just making the sentence negative. So do uh, is different. Um, and the do you learn basically means doing something. So it does work on the first sentence, but does not work on the second sentence. So the second sentence, you would just say, So don't, you will just say, ma, which means I do not, just to make the sentence negative. Now, use here, stamel, have means own. So, um, I'm gonna write everything underneath the video. I'm gonna write everything underneath the video and all the details. I hope this was helpful. I'm going to also add it to my Spotify, my podcast. Um, and if you have any questions, if you want me to go over any specific content, just let me know and send me an email.
Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Please subscribe. Thanks.